Hello and welcome to Woolen Tree. Uh, today it's very, very foggy outside, so I thought I'd come into the studio and enjoy all the colour and texture in here because I can't even see the woods across the valley today. Um, I wanted to show you some of um, the work that's come straight off the David Loom. Um, let me show you. So I put a lovely long warp on the David Loom so I could make several projects. And the first project that I've um, just literally cut off the loom is a shadow weave scarf. It is mainly woven with 8-2 cotton, but I do like adding a little bit of special. So here we've got a wool and silk mix, adding lots of different colours and textures into my weave. When it comes straight off the loom, it's called Loom State. My work has not been fooled yet, which means washing it and pulls all the fibres together rather nicely. So this is quite see-through, but you might be able to see some of the patterns that I've been able to weave. Before I start fulling this fabric to make a lovely soft cloth, I'm actually going to twist the fringes. And this is what I'm going to show you what I'm doing today. So this is my fringe twister. It's from Ashford. It's such a useful little tool. I just attach it to an old kitchen stool. So it's the right height for my table that I'm working from. I just turn it around for you to see the handle at the back, which turns the pegs. So let's get twisting. First thing to do is to put my cloth on the table and weight it in place so it doesn't move around too much. I want to measure the fringe. I want quite a long fringe. I think it's going to be about 10 inches. So I'm going to measure and cut it. Just approximately, probably about there. So I've arranged the warp threads into small bunches in line with the hem stitch along here. I think I need to do double because it is such fine cotton and I rather want the twist to actually show. So two the hem stitch bunches together like so. A little bit of tension so I'll just move the stool back a bit usually. It's the easiest way to get the tension. I've got my foot on the, the stool to give it a bit of weight and then with the handle I turn it away from myself counting probably be about 15 to 20 twists until I think it looks nicely twisted up. I think that would be nice. Then holding it and pinching it tight, I transfer one along like this. So, and then this time I twist it towards myself and you'll find it puts a lovely twist in the threads. There we go. Pinch and put a knot to hold them in place. Pinch a knot to hold them in place. There we go, that's my first two fringes twisted. It's going to look so lovely when all the colours blend. This is a lovely green and lavender. And then when I get here, it'll be lavender with the yellow.
tassels. They're so pretty. And they just finish off this garment really well. So when I fold this cloth, obviously there's be a little bit of shrinkage. So then I'll cut off all the spare threads and I shall trim the end of the tassels and trim them to length. Time to put the kettle on, I think. Thank you for joining me at Woolen Tree today. I hope you've had fun and see you again soon. Bye.